Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Leo Love Readings. This is a love reading for Pisces and Pisces Cross Watchers. I'm going to be using um, a deck that I created myself and it's already uh, prepared and ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and just get started, okay? I want to thank you guys for all of your likes, your shares your subscriptions, your beautiful comments, your bookings, your donations. You guys are really awesome. I appreciate you guys a lot. Um, anything that you need about me, you're going to be able to find in the description box below the video, okay? Okay. see what we got for you guys bottom of the deck we have use your abilities 444 so that may be a significant number for you uh, that is an angel number as well it means that you are surrounded by angels and you are very protected right now Very first card is gener breaking, sorry, clearing generational karma. And if you know anything about that, it's not fun. Oh, then we have true love. That's beautiful. Ooh, marriage. Those are beautiful cards to have together. Ancestral intervention. <sighs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm tired. Ancestral intervention. Okay, so your ancestors are helping you throughout this process and helping you to um, find or... Um, what's the word? I keep hearing sustain, and I don't know why, because that's not what I'm trying to say. Um, your an your ancestors are helping you get with this person, okay? Because it's, it's destined. Uh, I want to make you happy. So, this is a partner who cares very much about you and about your happiness and your well-being this is also um, about you and your partner your it's focusing on your partner specifically but it may be mirrored mirrored in you but your partner um, has a very great desire to please you sexually wow you also have soulmate so you have both of the like very like loving intimate cards true love and soulmate very beautiful as well as marriage so you guys have a really strong bond this is a really beautiful love it's a very beautiful connection this is the kind of love that stands the test of time you guys are past life soulmates so you found each other again and it's just because you love each other so much yeah, <laughs> take it to Pound Town. So yeah, there's a lot of um, sexual, uh, a lot of sexual pleasure to be had with this person as well. Um, attention mothership. So it's just the same energy of your guides helping you, your galactic family helping you. You guys are meant to be together and you have a lot of help in the spiritual realms to get you to that point. Reflection 222, two, two, so you guys mirror each other. 
very heavily. I was feeling that earlier. With this much intimacy, with this closeness of a bond, I figured you guys probably are mirroring each other. If you resonate with Twin Flame Journey, this is your Twin Flame. We have Scared of Vulnerability with the Shield over the Heart and Defensiveness. Okay, yeah, so you have both of the Shield cards as well. This is one of the areas that your guides and your your spiritual crew are helping you. Uh, I feel like this is mirrored as well. I think that you guys have been through a lot with the Clearing Generational Karma card. Um, you have ha both have abusive families. You were taught all the wrong things. You probably had a lot of really difficult relationships or however many you had. They were just difficult. You guys have just had um, difficulties in the past when it comes to love. Um, I think all kinds of love, unless maybe it was with an animal. But in particular, it's really hit you guys hard in the love department. And I think it's just because... You know, it's it's natural. Like, all of the people that you were with... On a spiritual level, it makes total sense. All of the people that you were with, who you were with prior to being with each other were all karmic um, relationships just to help you clear out that generational karma so you could learn how to behave like yourself. This is just a coming back to yourself journey. And once you're there, and you feel like you're finally back to yourself, it takes a while to get there. And once you're there, you're very protective of yourself once you get there because you don't want to lose that again because it was so fucking hard to get to that point in the first place. So you guys are both very guarded. Whether you realize it or not, you might be absolutely madly fucking in love with each other and still super guarded and protective of yourselves at the same time. You could still have trust issues at the same time. You could still, you know, have these hurdles to overcome. And so since those are there, you're getting a lot of assistance with your spiritual crew in that area. Because once you guys kind of get past that... And get to this point where you're actually together like this. It won't be a problem anymore. It'll be like you guys are so in love and so attached to each other. Then the fears that might creep up may be fears like, I don't ever want to lose you. Like, stuff like that. But that's something that you'll deal with together. And I think that you will um, be very compassionate with each other in regards to this as well. So there's something here about the full moon. We have a full moon coming up soon. This is a timeless reading, but I am recording it in Sagittarius season, and we are creeping up to another full moon, so something significant. Actually, this is a crescent moon, but this is a full moon. Um, so it's it's the that growth. From this last new moon to this next full moon, there's a lot of changes and really important things that are occurring in both of your lives individually. Um, I feel like something significant could have happened right after the new moon and there's going to be something significant that happens with the next full moon whenever you're watching this. The only time that exists is right now. So whenever you see this, these are the um, indications of timing. Okay? Love you guys.